street life in India offers you what any good story does. A beginning, a middle and an end. The beginning may be the visual chaos and the maddening cacophony. The middle could be the mass of people you jostle against as you maneuver your way through. And the end might be the collection of experiences you leave with. There are many, many stories that take shape for each of us as we engage with life in the streets. You may encounter people, goods and auto rickshaws. Along some part of the street, there are places where people pause. At the pan shop or at the chai shop. These are the full stops in the street before the next sentence begins. You may not be the pan chewing type or the cigarette smoking kind and may never need to stop here. We often get to read a story that someone else is writing and one just reads on. Here, we share a story from seeing the social life of Indian public spaces around the pan and chai stalls. At the Everyday City Lab, we conducted a research project in 2019 to understand the social practices on the street as people engage in conversations whilst drinking chai or eating pan. We wanted to learn how people gather informally around the chai stall or the pan shop, how they interact socially whilst they do this and how these practices shape the public space of the Indian street. We focused on the city of Ahmedabad looking at six chai stalls and six pan shops in different neighbourhoods across the city. For the Chai study, stalls located at AES University Ground, the Riverfront Road, Commerce 6 Roads, Nehru Nagar, PC Point and Relief Road were looked at. In Ahmedabad, Chai has penetrated deep into the everyday routines of people, giving rise to the Kitli culture, where Kitli is the Gujarati term for kettle. It is about Chai but also about making conversations around it. One commonly finds here the concept of cutting Chai, in which a cup of Chai is shared between two people. It could mean you share the first cup and then, after a while, order a second cup and you share it again. People gather at the chai place at the street corner before they leave for the day's work or during work when they are taking a break. For the pan study, roadside shops located at AES University Ground, Riverfront Road, Darpan 6 Roads, Vastrapur Lake, Sunrise Park Road and at the Swami Narayan Temple Road that sell pan were studied. We found that the pan shop sometimes comes into existence as a small stall on the roadside, selling pan and then gradually grows into a small convenience store. You can buy anything here, from cuff lozenges to postage stamps. It is also the place where men hang out for a quick smoke or to read their day's newspaper, or sometimes to share the neighborhood gossip. Just as there is always a place for the pan after a heavy meal, it seems as if there is always a place for a pan shop in a dense street. The chai stalls and pan shops were observed and analysed in terms of their spatial organisation. That is, how the chai vendor organises himself on the street, where he stores his belongings and how a platform or a bench nearby becomes a seat for his customers. Often, the vendor chooses his location in a way that a tree canopy provides the much needed shade for both him and the people who frequent his stall. At times, a pan vendor sets up his kiosk on a two-wheeler modified with multiple storage units. We found that there are interdependencies between various vendor groups with the same footpath or sidewalk being occupied by a pan shop, a chai stall and a barber shop. The vendors share resources such as shade, water, seating and parking spaces for customers. It was found that different user groups come at different times of the day. The temporal nature of each of these spaces was therefore studied in detail. Also, the vehicular and pedestrian movement patterns were mapped. It was interesting to see how customers with four-wheelers parked their vehicles and sometimes drank their chai sitting in their cars. Similarly, the auto rickshaw drivers stopped their vehicles and waited to be served, either with sitting on a bench nearby or inside their autos. The study found that the presence of shade from a tree or a tarpaulin roof also altered the movement patterns within these informal public spaces. In his book, Ways of Seeing, John Berger says, Soon after we can see, we are aware that we can also be seen. If we can see the pan or chai vendor, we know that he can also see us. In his eyes, we could be mere passers-by. There are some who are patrons of pan or chai, some who are not. Some are in a terrible hurry and some have all the time in the world. How much time can one fold into traversing the length of a street? Perhaps only as much as each of us would choose to give ourselves and unto the street.